Day 3, Colony 3. And this time we're going to have a look at Queen Abigail and the Golden Tail Sugar Ants. Now these guys had an update fairly recently, another upgrade. If you haven't seen that video, check that one out. If you haven't seen the other two days, check them out. Let's get into it. Okay, so these Golden Tail Sugar Ants, Queen Abigail, as I mentioned. Now the name, can you guys say it? Campanotis aniophilus. Ugh, you reckon that's right? Anyway, this is the uh, new outworld that they have. So they've been quite busy out in the outworld here. They haven't been digging like the green-headed ants of yesterday's video, um, but these guys are busy in the outworld. So I actually really enjoy this outworld that I've made for them. Um, I like the nest entrance there with the rocks. Um, that just means they can't move them, but it's a nice stable entry into their nest. They um, love the biformica feeders as well. So they're really good. Again, I love them. If you guys haven't tried them, I, I do recommend them. Um, there'll be a link in the description anyway if you want to um, check out a place where you can buy them. I've decided to also put some elf oil in there just to mix things up with a bit of um, honey and the like. Now I've put this little plastic um, fake plant in here as well and this is quite interesting because they're actually using this as their graveyard. Do you see that in there? They're actually stuffing their dead workers in between the leaves of this uh, fake plastic plant which is pretty cool that's their graveyard there's no other rubbish really kept um, in this outworld apart from that which is pretty fascinating now as opposed to the green-headed ants from yesterday these golden tail sugar ants are really really good climbers they are a little bit skittish whenever I do open up the outworld or uncover the nest. They get a bit skittish about that um, and they climb. You can see one here working his way up the side. Now I do have a barrier flew on around the top of this container. These guys sometimes can get over that as well. So I just need to keep my eyes open whenever I do open up the outworld to have a look. And you can see their little sentry guards in place there as well at the nest entrance. So this is a bit of a side profile on what it looks like down at their level, looking right through the nest. This is a little bit blurry because it's from outside the Sistema container. Um, Sistema containers are really fantastic to use for outworlds. They're easy to work with, the lids come on and off nice and easily as well, and they have some good sizes. Here you can see another worker at the other nest entrance. You can see those mandibles open and ready for action. So that's pretty cool. These guys are fascinating to watch. Uh, they're very busy as they skid around the outworld. Um, and I just love that color coloration. Every ant species has something really wonderful about them. Now something interesting with these guys, you'll just see here, part of a mealworm dumped in there. And you can see how large clumps of sand have been put all over it. And these guys have been doing this and it's pretty cool. So anything that's left in here, over in this pile here, just near the plastic tree that's where a cricket used to be before I removed it so they bury all of the leftover carcasses of the mealworms or crickets that I give them in those little piles and they just get larger grains of sand or dirt and they just dump it on top so you have these little mounds all around the outworld that's pretty cool now these guys do enjoy the water they get stuck into that water um, which is always good always make sure you've got a nice fresh water supply for your ant colonies it's critical for them. Now, as opposed to the banded sugar ants, which are mainly nocturnal, they come out uh, towards the late afternoon and evening to forage. These golden tail sugar ants come out during the day and forage in the outworld quite a bit. Okay, so let's now have a look at the nest. So I've just got some red film over the acrylic nest here again. Um, it's one of the larger size with a dual entrance into it. Now this acrylic nest I got from Oz Ants, um, Oz Ants Acrylic Nest, and it's really good. Again, link in the description if you do want to check out the website, uh, Ant Keeping Depot, where you can find these nests. So this acrylic nest has served these guys really well. Um, the banded sugar ants used to have this nest, and then I cleaned it out and I've given it to these guys. So there's still plenty of room inside here, but we can see that the colony is progressing. You can see the larger, the majors in there, workers, 
couple of them there just walking over the brood. So a nice little brood pile in this corner, which is fantastic. Always something I like to see because it's a sign of a healthy colony if they're producing. Over on the other side of the nest, we can see that's quite busy, a bit more packed over this side. Still plenty of room and most ants do like it quite crowded. These, these golden tail ants actually don't like a lot of open nesting space. I've always found they're reluctant to move into new nesting space, which is large. It can take them quite a bit of time. And if you haven't seen the previous video when I did upgrade these guys, you'll know that it took a good week or so before they'd even move into this nest. So just having a little bit of a look around, you can see how cramped it is around here. And do you see her? There she is. It's Queen Abigail. Doing really nice. She's got that distinctive uh, dent in her thorax as well. So as we move around the acrylic nest here, you can see there's more brood over in this section as well. Again, like most ants, they like to keep the new brood near a um, hydration port. And this is, there's more humidity in the air around there, which keeps the eggs and the larvae nice and moist, which is very important for their development. You'll find that cocoons are often away from the moisture. Let's have a closer look at the brood. And this is, a, this is a nice angle to look through on the macro lens because we can see the ants in more detail. You can see those fine hairs on their abdomens as well, which give them that golden tail abdomen, the golden tail sugar ants, where they get their name from. So here they're tending to the brood, moving it around. You can see there's different sizes of brood there as well, which is really good. No cocoons at the moment though, but hopefully they'll develop um, into those fairly soon. As mentioned in my previous couple of videos, it is winter here, so things are starting to slow down a little bit, and, uh, especially how the brood progresses from the egg through to the cocoons. Here we have another major. So there's a look through on the acrylic nest. What do you guys think of this colony? Do you like the golden tail sugar ants? I think they're quite popular, actually. Um, they're quite, they're not very featured very often, I guess, on many uh, ant channels, but it's nice to see some different species being showcased. So I hope you're enjoying this series this week. We've got some different ones coming up shortly as well, which you probably haven't seen before and I haven't featured. So stay tuned for that one. So with the nest, this is obviously an acrylic one. Do you guys have a favorite style of nest that you like? Do you like the acrylic, the plaster, Y-tong, any other sort of nest, 3D printed ones? Just be interested and know what you think. Uh, let me know in the comments down below as well. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. Give the video a thumbs up as well, um, that you enjoy seeing these colonies. I'm trying to do more and more videos for you guys and a bit more frequency. Um, if you're like me, I just love watching ant videos over and over again. So hope you enjoy this content and I just want to make more for you guys. Okay, so this has been day three colony three my golden tail sugar ants stay tuned tomorrow another video for you guys so enjoying this week of colonies thanks very much for watching this video guys and as always remember happy ant keeping